Hello and welcome to my second lesson on Bootstrap and in this one we're going to be building out a home page for a website. Uh, if you watched my first lesson you'll already have the files downloaded and you should have an index.html. If you haven't done so already go ahead and delete everything within the body tag except for the uh, two JavaScript calls and in the head section add these two meta tags uh, the car set and the viewport meta for our responsive features. I also added the language of English and HTML tag. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to have a fixed container in our outer div. And we're going to, and our homepage is going to have three main sections uh, the header, and it's going to have a class of row. We're going to have a div for our main content. It will also have a class of row. And I'll give it an ID of div. I'm excuse, excuse me, an ID of main content. And a third section will just have a footer. And it will also have a class of row. The first thing we're going to build out is the navigation area. Uh, Bootstrap has a pretty cool navigation feature. Uh, that lets you build a pretty slick nav bar. I'm going to have a div with a, a class of span 12. Under our span 12 div, we're going to have a nav tag. And it's going to have a class of nav bar. Uh, the nav bar is, of course, a bootstrap class. Within that one, we need another div that's going to hold all of our uh, menu items. It's going to have a class of navbar enter. So we pretty much just set up the foundation for our uh, navigation bar. If we hit save and we open up our index.html file We'll just see an empty bar. And that's where all our navigation items are going to go. As you can see, it's got a uh, gray color. Yours might be different if you decided to fill out all the uh, values in um, the uh, setup page. Since I left mine default, it's going to look like that. It's got rounded borders and um, pretty plain. But let's go ahead and add some uh, menu items to it. We have an unordered list. And that has to have a class of nav in order for it to fit in with that uh, that nav bar theme. And of course, our list items. And within those, we're going to have our anchor tags. We'll close that out and just copy and paste these. And our first link, we'll call it home. Uh, second one will be about. Um, actually, let's make our second one. We'll call it blog. The third one will be about. Oops. And the fourth one will be contact. Go ahead, save. Go back over and refresh. And now we have our menu items uh, in the nav bar. They're nicely formatted. You got a pretty cool hover state. Another component that can be added to the navbar is our uh, brand class. And that's going to go outside of our uh, side of our unordered list. So we we open up an anchor tag. And give it a class of brand. Save. Go back to our browser and refresh. We'll see a nice little uh, brand link. It's pretty cool. It just raises the font up a little bit, but I think you get the idea. Uh, another class that we can add to our list items is the divider class. 
Actually, it's a divided vertical. And this will separate, or this will create some separation between our menu items. Give it a nice uh, finishing touch. And we'll put one after each of these links. And I'll go ahead and put one before the home to create some space between our, the brand and our first link. Save it. Switch back to the browser and hit refresh. Now, depending on your screen resolution, you might not be able to see it, but there's actually some really thin lines between each link. And it's just a pretty cool design element to add to the, to the navigation. In our next video, we're going to extend the navbar class and uh, show a few more uh, components we can add to it. Thanks for watching.